Mr. Starks, this is your former girlfriend, according to your complaint, and you say that she broke your TV on purpose during an argument. The defendant says that actually you pushed her into the TV and that's how it got broken. So let's first find out when this happened and where. Where well, was my house, approximately, it was in June 2017. You don't know the exact date? I don't know the exact date. Do you know the exact date? It was June 4th. And at the time of the incident, were you and the defendant living together or were you just no, dating? No, judge. This was, this happened in the evening? Nighttime. What time? 10-ish, 11. Was it the plan for Miss Martin to stay over that night? Yes. Was it a weekend or a weekday? We weekend. Weekend? It was a weekend. Great. She seems to remember it really well. Why don't you tell me what happened first? Okay. On this night, we went out to a bar, came back in, and on the way in, just the vibe just began to turn as a negative once we got in the house and I was trying to talk to her and play with her a little bit and she was a little she was a lot of standoffish and I just didn't understand why so once I got to trying to talk to her and everything she was kind of pushing me away and the air just was not right she just wasn't acting I just didn't understand what was going on to, to be honest so did you ask her I did, but she wasn't even speaking. She was just like... I... Did he do something at the bar? No, actually, everything was fine. We had went to a fast food restaurant, and I told him not to eat this stuff because it messes with his stomach. And he gets it anyway. So I told him, don't come to me when your stomach starts hurting. And we get on in the bar. And... Then, then you went to a bar? Yeah, we so went, went to the bar fast food. after the what fast food. What kind of fast stuff? food doesn't agree with him? Rally. He loved it, and it don't agree with his stomach. Okay. So you told him not to eat it, and he didn't listen. And he did it anyway. And he did it anyway. Mm -hmm. Then he went to the bar. Then we went to the bar, and after we had a couple of drinks, he was getting ready to leave, and that's when he tells me his stomach hurts. So I ignore him, <laughs> and because I told him not to eat it, so why would you even come to me with your stomach? So we get on in the car. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. See, stomach hurts, keep it to yourself. I told Pretty you not much. to eat it. Don't tell me about it. I told you not to eat it. And from there, um, we get on back to his house. I go and sit on his couch, on his um, oversized chair. He comes in, he wants to sit on the same chair that I'm sitting on. He has multiple places for him to sit. I told him he can go sit somewhere else. He says, this is my favorite chair. So he sits down anyway. See how big his arms is. He put his arm on me, so I moved it off. From there... Because you're still annoyed about the food and the fast food. Yeah. yeah. Got it. That, that's, where, that's where it started. I had no issues at first. We was fine. Go. Okay. For one thing, I eat Riley's all the time. That's my favorite. <laughs> so, my stomach, it, that, that, that wasn't the deal. I know. So, okay, I we, can, we, we passed that. But okay. you didn't listen. Right. Of course not. I eat it all the time. But, uh... <laughs> But, uh, you know, we came in. Right, I see you sat on a chair. Like I said, I was trying to make her, you know, feel better, like playing around. That's what I do. So I came over there, wrapped my arms around her and, like, trying to kiss her on the forehead and on the cheek and, you know, playing around. And she was still getting a little piped up. So I didn't understand what was going on. So from there, I stood up and she got an attitude about I was asking her to leave. So this is where the problem ended up at. Okay, so. You didn't like her attitude, so you said, listen, this is not Right, I just wanted tonight. to break it off for the I, night. Right. So, she has an attitude when I, whenever I ask her to leave, even when she had her own place and I was at her place, whenever I wanted to leave, that's like a power control thing that I can't deal with. So, when I ask her to leave, she uh, starts to get an attitude. She breaks, she stands up, because I, I threatened, after a while, I threatened to call the police on her. So, it wasn't just, I'd like you to leave, and she was annoyed. No, this was a whole, this was probably about 40 minutes in, and she just kept going and going. What was she saying? She was saying she wasn't going to leave, she wanted to talk about it. We, every time we talked about it, it came around to the same thing. To the, what? about why you just can't talk about it. But we were past talking about it. We've been talking about it for like an hour and we wasn't getting anywhere. What were we talking about? The food? Exactly. I don't know what. I didn't know nothing about the food. I didn't know that's why she was tripping out. Like, that's why I didn't get, tell you that in the beginning, because I didn't know that's why she was tripping out in the beginning. You had I didn't know, I didn't. Her. I didn't know nothing about the food. I didn't know that's why she was upset. I, like I told you again, I didn't know why she was upset. 